Some common scientific principles used in hydraulic systems include Pascal's law, pressure, force, flow, and velocity. Pascal's law is the main reason that hydraulic systems are able to function. Pascal's law states that a fluid is incompressible, which allows pressure to be transmitted equally throughout the fluid. It is best to visualize Pascal's law by using two cylinders connected by a tube. If both cylinders are the same size, the pressure exerted on the piston will transmit an equal amount of force to the second cylinder. However, if the first cylinder and piston are much smaller than the second cylinder and piston, the amount of force transmitted from the first cylinder to the second cylinder will be increased greatly. The pressure placed on the piston is force, which makes it possible for the liquid to squeeze through the tubes. Pressure is the force that is needed to overcome resistance to motion an important formula that is used to describe the relationship between force and pressure is F equals PA. Force is equal to pressure times the area. Therefore, the greater the pressure over a given area, the larger amount of force that is generated. Flow is the movement of a fluid, such as liquids or gases, within a hydraulic system. For example, flow is the amount of fluid moving through the hoses of a hydraulic system at any given point. Velocity is the speed at which fluid moves based on the rate of displacement of the fluid. The time it takes fluid to move from one point in the hydraulic system to the next component is relative to the velocity of the fluid. If you have the same amount of fluid passing through a large hose into a smaller hose, the velocity would increase due to the smaller area.